Hey, I did not see you there. My name is Matt Sedano, and welcome to Storytime with Uncle Matt. You see, I was looking through my attic the other day, and I stumbled upon something remarkable. <gasps> Stories that had been written by me and my siblings many moons ago, that have remained untouched for decades, until now. When I had made this discovery, I decided that this shall not go unshared, which is why I am taking the time today to read to you some of these stories that I had found locked away in my attic. <clears throat> story number one. No, that that's actually the title of this story. Like like there 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 are two sides to this. It's you know I'm bothered to give it a real title, but you know, it's whatever. This one was written by my sister and some of her friends way back in the good old days, when I could barely even speak a sentence without sounding like a complete idiot. But, you know, it's, it's a good story. It doesn't really make much sense. I don't know. I'll let you decide. <clears throat> there once was an old cowboy who stepped on a juicy snake. No, it actually says that. I... I am not, I am not kidding you right now. <laughs> While walking on a passageway where he met a slacker named Bob, Bob told the cowboy that his horse went running to the left, so the cowboy went running to the left too. Instead of his missing horse, he saw a rusty old cabin. The cowboy was curious, so he stepped inside. And then he saw a wrinkly old lady who he thought was attractive. The old lady was sitting in the living room when she said, Sorry, dearie, was my pet snake in your way? Uh, uh okay, what, 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 the, the snake, uh, what did that have to do with, uh, no, okay, none of that made any sense, like, like, the snake, the, the snake was barely even mentioned, it was only mentioned twice in this entire story, once at the beginning and, and, and once at the end, it's, like, what, what is, what did any of that have to do with, the slacker named Bob, or his horse, or... And, okay, okay, whatever. On, on the on the story number two. This one is interesting, to say the least. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there was a kid who thought he was really grown up, so he pretended to have a beard just to impress a very charming and gorgeous opera singer. He wanted to take her on a date, but he didn't have enough money, so he decided to sell his sock collection. What? Whatever. And, and it actually worked, because then he went to see a fascinating fireworks show. Yeah, can't forget that was fascinating. <laughs> After that, they went to a really fancy restaurant. Well, I guess he has some, uh... She has a few weirdos in his neighborhood who will pay top dollar for his sock collection. Yeah, he took her to a fancy restaurant and asked her to marry him on the first date. She said, um, sorry, I had fun, but you're too weird. Yeah, I'm, 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 not, I'm not weird. All, all I did was just, you know, sell my entire sock collection so I can afford to take you to this fancy restaurant. And I don't even know how old I am. What am I, like, probably like 10 or something. I'm... And you're, what are you, probably like an opera singer, you can't be any younger than 30, cause, you know, who sings opera anymore? <laughs> yeah, no, 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 I'm not weird at all. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. And then, you know, after, after he got, like, brutally rejected by his favorite opera singer, the kid got mad, and he started a fight using grenades, and started World War III. Everyone died. The end. You, 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 you can't make this stuff up. Like, these words were actually written on paper. <laughs> and look, it's every one with the number one instead of, you know, spelling it out. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I wish... I wish I could see what what grade this assignment got. And <laughs> and if, if, like, the teacher would have written any, any side notes or anything like that, I don't know. Can you imagine if this thing was written today? Like, 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 if story number two was written today, and that ending 
Like, can you just imagine the pandemonium that would ensue? Anyway, join us next time, if I decide to do this again. I, I might, actually, because, you know, there's, there's a lot of interesting stuff in there. <laughs> Alright. <sighs> what? Why are you staring at me?